Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now, I have moved into a new place and unfortunately it's west facing. And what that means is that if I open these curtains, you will be blinded by a light that is probably worse than the fourth right. So I'm not going to open them and all my future videos that the background isn't going to be that sexy, but I'm hoping that the content and the words that I use to explain is sexy enough for you or my hairline. But we'll talk about that another day. I hope you're well. Um, in this video, I'm going to basically explain a metaphor, right? Now, you know me, you know I love my metaphors and I like using abstractions to help people understand complicated or sometimes simple business concepts concepts that are complicated to grasp, right? So sometimes the simple stuff, it is really simple to understand, but it takes a long time to get the hang of it, right? And so what I want to do in this video is basically help you understand something to do with your business and how you can see your business. And, and I'm hoping that by using this metaphor, it might just make things a little bit easier. You, you might leave way more confused than you entered, which I hope doesn't happen, but let's get started. So if you don't know who I am and you wonder why I'm making these videos, my name's Charlie Morgan. Um, I basically built and scaled a marketing agency to seven figures. And I now run a coaching business called Imperium Acquisition, where we help people make client acquisition easy. We do up to, upwards of 500 grand a month at the moment. Things are going really well. I'm getting to eight figures, like my fucking life depends on it. And I'm making these videos, A, to document my journey and B, to help people make client acquisition easy because that's what I'm all about. I have nothing. I have something to sell you. I'm not going to tell you I have nothing. I have something to sell you. I will do it at the very end of the video and by then you can click off so you don't even have to be pitched and I won't even pitch you anything. So don't worry, just relax, right? Here's the thing, right? We're going to look at the business in the same way we look at the human body and we're going to basically take human biology and the sort of basic anatomy of a human and compare that to business so that you can build a better understanding of how to run your business, what's important and basically how everything sort of interlocks. So obviously you're pretty aware of the human body because you should have one, right? Unless you're a artificial intelligent entity. That's a bit terrifying. But what you should realize is that the human body is interconnected, right? It is a system. Okay. And what that means is there are parts of that system that must function in order for other parts to function. So if your liver fails, then lots of other parts of your body are going to fail. Like you have this macro level system that is the body, and then you have subsystems inside of the body, such as the cardiovascular system, muscular systems, digestive systems, got all these little subsystems, right? And they all have to be working because if your digestive system stops working, then that affects your cardio system, which can affect your, you know, nervous system, definitely not spine system. So don't have my word for it, but you see the point, right? Now, how the hell does this relate to your business and, and how is this going to help you make more money and understand things? Well, that's what I'm here to explain. Your business is a system, right? It's, it's an entire big thing, right? It's just like the human body. It's a macro system made up of subsystems that must all be functioning in tandem for the system as a whole to run, right? And so this is an important lesson in systems thinking at the beginning is when we look at a system, we're, we're looking at an aggregate of other subsystems. So like the body is not a system. It is technically a system, but it's basically, it exists as a sort of coagulation or congregation or aggregation or whatever fancy term you want to use to denote the co combination of lots of different systems in place. So your business is the same, right? So we have systems for sales, service, delivery, customer support, onboarding, counting, payments. You've got systems for appointment booking, although you might not because most people struggle with that. You might have systems for ads. You, you, you've got all these systems, basically. The thing about the human body is there are some systems that are more important than others. Or not all systems are built equal, is what I'm saying here. So like if you look at the human body, for example, if your nervous system fails, you're fucked. You're dead within a second, right? If you get a shot in the brain, or if you get like shot in a certain part of your, you know, your spine, that's it. Either you're gonna be paralyzed from the neck down for the rest of your life, or you're dead in, in a split second. But if your kidneys fail, if that system that, you know, processes liquids and stuff fails, then you can be put on dialysis and like the rest of your body can sort of function. Same if you had COVID COVID and your lungs failed, right? You can be put on a machine, but if your brain fails, you're fucked. Now that's also the same thing with the heart. So the two most important organs or systems inside of the body, by how quickly they would kill you if they failed, you're gonna have your nervous system and your cardiovascular system. Because if you get shot in the heart or the brain, you're dead. But if you get shot in the stomach, you're not gonna die instantly and there, there are ways to fix that. Or likewise, if you get shot in the testicle, God forbid, right? It'd be very painful. I can imagine that's probably one of the worst things that could ever happen to anyone. But my point is that you wouldn't die, right? You wouldn't, the system would not, the whole thing wouldn't just cease to collapse. Now, here's the thing about business, right? The brain in the human body is what the product is in the business. So let me repeat that. You need to understand this. The brain in the body is what the product is to the business. So the product is like the brain. Now, I don't mean... The, the metaphor doesn't extend in the fact that this this product is this all all encompassing powerful thing that dictates everything. Kind of is that, but my point here is that if your product gets shot, and what I mean by that is if it's shit, if it doesn't work, then everything else will fall apart. Now, 
your business won't die like an immediate painless death if you get, if you get shot in the product as you would in the head if you were a human. I might get demonetized for actually talking, <laughs> talking about all this. But my point is that like the product is the thing that sits at the top. The product is the brain of the business. If this is, this has to function in order for the business to run. Because for example, if you take the human body, if, if you took a hit to the liver and your liver stopped functioning temporarily, long term, it's going to finish you off, right? But short term, you can continue to function and you have the time to address the problem and fix it. In the business, right, if your onboarding system fails or if, if your payment processor stops working for a couple of days, it's going to hurt, it's going to take a hit, but your business won't completely fail. Whereas the product, if that thing isn't bang on, if that's bad, then you're completely screwed. Now, how does this how does this feed in? Because the product is basically, it sits at the top. It is the most important thing. And technically, your product isn't a system. It's an entity that encapsulates your ability to deliver results or solve a problem for someone. So you can't really look at it and point it and say that is a system because it's an item, a piece of leverage, it's something that someone uses to get what they want or accelerate a future version of themselves they want to achieve or a reality they, they desire, right? So it's not something you can point out as a system. But my point here is like, it's kind of like the brain. So here's the thing. The product is the brain. Below that, we have the offer. And the offer is the heart. So the heart to the human body is what the offer is to a business. In order for the heart to beat, the brain needs to work. And what I mean by that, and we, we can extend this from the human body, the product is the brain and the offer is the heart. So here's the thing, you can't have a healthy heart if you don't have a healthy brain. And the same thing applies to business. If you try and create a brilliant offer, you won't be able to if the product is weak. So this is the big lesson, is people, they spend all this time trying to create these fancy offers and trying to like position what they do in the best way possible. But fundamentally, it's impossible for them to do that or at least for, for them to do it sustainably if the, the thing they're building the offer around is weak. You build your offer around your product. You don't build your product around your offer. Now, there is an exception to this where you want to start with the offer and build the product to be able to deliver the offer because you don't want to cap yourself. Like if you're deciding what sort of service to deliver for someone, it should be based on what they need, what not what you can deliver. And it's up to you to adapt to the needs of the market and it won't be the other way around. But here's the, here's the thing about the whole human body is like the brain is the product and this is the thing that like feeds everything. Because if that fails, it doesn't matter how good your onboarding system is. It doesn't matter how good you are at sales. It doesn't matter how amazing your customer support is. It doesn't matter how great you are at, I don't care, like keeping your accounts in order. If the product is bad, everything else falls apart. And this is why in my company with Imperium Acquisition, I spent the last nine months building my product. 12 hours a day, basically locked in a room, doing nothing with no life. It wasn't fun, but I spent all that time on the product because I know that like, if you get the brain right, everything else functions. And like, you know, we don't need, to, like you can have the most amazing product in the world and have a pretty shitty onboarding system, but clients won't mind because the product is so fucking good. If you're not spending time on the product, then you're wasting your time. Now, here's the exception. The other thing you want to focus on is the offer and the acquisition. And that's the heart. Because if the heart stops beating, then you're also fucked. Because the heart is the thing that sends blood around to the other systems. And that's what sales and acquisition does. So sales is like the heart of the business is also kind of like, it's the offer, but it's also the acquisition channels you're using to get people. So generally speaking, like all the other systems are sort of, they're negligible in terms of leverage and impact on the outcome of the business's function in terms of success, right? If you get the product right and you get the acquisition right, everything is very easy. <laughs> And I can tell you this is true because, you know, we do $500,000 a month, half a million a month at the moment. We're on the way to eight figures, probably will be in the next few months. And like, we don't use any CRMs. We use Google Sheets for all of our sales systems. We don't use any fancy softwares for cold emails. Our onboarding system is painfully simple. And it's very straightforward. We only have one community group. We don't get fancy with anything. Because like Bo and I, Bo's my business partner, right? We sort of looked at our business and we were like, what do we need to have? Like, what's the priority here? What's the brain and the heart? Like, when I'm looking at building something, I'm asking myself, like, like, what are the one or two things that if you just get those right, everything else is easy? Because I see people here, they spend loads of time, they start a business, right? And if you're making this mistake, you need to stop it, right? They spend all this time building a website and then they go and build an onboarding system for clients they don't have. And then they go and design their logo and then they go and start doing all these social media posts. But people do everything except from the two things that are the most important. Just imagine you're God and you're constructing a human. It's like building a business in that way is like, all right, well, why don't we just, let's just put the kidneys in and then, you know, we'll, we'll put the spinal cord in because that they, they might need that. Oh yeah, let's also, let's go and whack the liver in and we'll put the spleen in. Why? That's when you do like a fucking website. It's useless, right? <laughs> we'll put the spleen in. And then they, they step back and they're like, oh, look at this human body that I've built. Look at this business that I've built. I am an agency owner. It's like, you're not an agency owner. You're a glorified freelancer with a dream with no fucking client. So when they build that human body and they look at it and they're like, I think we're missing something. 
And it's just a sack of organs because like you haven't got a brain, you haven't got a heart, you haven't got a product, you haven't got an acquisition system or a good offer. Because here's the thing about acquisition. It's like in order for client acquisition, I, I learned this. This is a, the probably the biggest epiphany I had last year when I was building my product. For client acquisition to be easy, the product has to be hard to make. The harder it is for you to make your product and deliver your service, the easier it is to acquire clients. And there's a direct correlation. The easier it is for you to deliver results for people, the harder client acquisition becomes. Now, don't get me wrong. Right, I find it very easy to deliver results because I've put the hard work in. My point there is that like, the harder it is for you to build the system that delivers the results, because the, the, the harder it is typically is a denotion of how successful you're gonna be, because it's like you're putting all these hours in, all this time, all this effort in, and that's good, Like you, 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 you do that, and then because you spent so long doing it and it was so hard to build, when you go and sell it, you've got so much conviction, you can create incredible offers without any fear of the backlash of, of people asking for refunds because you know it's fucking brilliant. And so like for me, client acquisition is a breed. You know, we've got six sales reps. We can book 50 appointments a day without any problem using one appointment setter with multiple um, cold accounts, one person doing some emails for us on a YouTube channel, right? And, and we routinely book 40 to 50 calls every day. And we've got six reps closing upwards of like 30 to 40 clients a, a week. <laughs> we did 100 clients in February, which is the best we've ever done, which in, in lifetime value is $960,000. Lifetime value, not cash collected, right? We're not quite there yet. You see my point, like the only reason it's so easy for me to do that is not because I'm really good at my marketing, right? Although I am quite good at that. It's not because I've got like all this fancy shit. It's because I just spent so long on my product and my team knew that. So when my sales reps hop on sales calls, they're like, I'm selling something that I can truly believe in because I know how much work went into this thing. So um, yeah, just an important little lesson for you. I think a lot of people really miss out on this and they really fail to understand and gauge the importance of the product. It's because people just want to get the, people are like, oh, just give me the best email copy, Charlie. Give me your sales script and I will be fine. It's like, no, no, no. You need to spend, you know, I think the Stoics called it a winter training, right? You need to spend a long time getting very fucking good at what you do. Now, there's an element of this where you don't want to spend all your time getting very fucking good because then you're not making any money. But if you're not spending lots of time every single day perfecting your craft and working on your product and making it as good as possible. And like basically every day you want to ask yourself the question, like how can I make my client experience better? Like what can I do to get them better results or the same results they're getting right now, but faster? Those are the two things you're looking for. How can I get them more of what they want and how can I do it in a faster period of time with less effort from them? Those are the three things that we want to optimize for. And that's what makes a good product. Minimal effort, fast, speedy time in terms of delivery, getting them the biggest result possible, right? If you nail those three things, you nail the product. So you have to ask yourself, well, how is that possible? And then that's the brain. You know, you nail the product, then you've got a good healthy brain, which means all the other systems you build, they can actually function. But if you fuck the product up, it doesn't matter how good your onboarding system is, it doesn't matter how good you are at writing email copy and booking appointments, no clients will stick, you'll get loads of disputes, loads of refund rates, your reputation will be in the dirt, and people aren't teaching this. Everyone is so focused on like acquisition, and I include myself in that, I'm guilty guilty of them breaking my own law, so to speak. But I want to make this video because it's bloody important, all right? And it's something that I have learned and something that I've leveraged. And I do believe it is probably arguably the most important business lesson that I've learned in the last couple of years, having made a couple of million dollars. I did promise you I'd pitch you something but I've actually decided against it. There's a link in the description. You can click it if you want to, I don't care. We help people with client acquisition. I say no more. I don't care if you click it or not, it's fine. If you enjoyed this video, you know that little button with the thumbs up that denotes that you liked it? You can click it. If you click that, basically what will happen is YouTube will show you more videos like this that you find valuable and helpful as opposed to fucking Call of Duty, quit scope and montages and videos of people running about self-improvement that you've seen six times before. So click the like button. You can also subscribe. That's a fancy thing to do, right? How dare I? If you want to do that, it would make my day. And also, if you have anything, if you disagree with me or you want to add any comments, you can use a little, there's a little box for that, you know, that little comment section. Have a little tap. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it useful. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.